I'm gonna show you a quick way to speed up audio in Logic Pro. What's up? Welcome to the channel where we talk about music business, music licensing, and music production. If you love any of the previously mentioned, definitely be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my latest content. So a producer follower of mine hit me up with the question on how to speed up audio in Logic Pro. Um, this comes in handy, especially if you have to make a quick tempo change. Um, if you wanna change the tempo of a sample. I know me personally, um, sometimes artists may come back and be like, hey, I want this just a little bit faster and they want it you know, a few BPMs faster or I may have a TV show hit me back and want a track a little faster. And I use, pretty much I, I program all my drums um, in machine and then I drag them out as audio into Logic. The thing with doing that is it kind of limits what I can do with the audio after that point, unless I just want to go back into the machine and then, you know, re-edit the, the little boxes. Y'all producers know what I'm talking about, the little boxes you got to draw in and, and click and all that stuff. So you can't really do that with audio. It's a little harder to manipulate. You got to go through a couple hoops and jumps and skips and hops and all that. <laughs> jumps and skips and hops. So when you have those situations, this is a quick method that I use to just bump the BPM up. It keeps the audio and everything clean. It doesn't sound super, it doesn't sound distorted at all. It sounds natural. Um, it, it retains like the notes and all of that stuff. The higher you go or like the lower you go in tempo, it may get a little weird. You may just, just be careful, but if it's just a minor tempo adjustment, this works perfectly for that. So let's dig into it. I'm gonna do a screenshot so you guys can see exactly how I do it and, um, and hear what I hear. So let's go. This is a, a track that I started the other day. I didn't finish it. I need to finish it, um, but nonetheless, this is the track. I thought it was a great example because as I mentioned before, it shows all my drums bounced out as wave and also used the sound that I, I bounced out as wave as well. Um, so this is, uh, this is the track. So that's the track at 130 BPM. You can see the BPM up here. Um, so what we want to do is kind of speed it up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is, is highlight everything from this track here all the way down. And to do that, I just click on that track, hit and hold shift, and then click the last track. And then that highlights everything, which is going to make doing this a lot easier because you won't have to go um, you know, one by one, track by track to change what you're going to have to change here. So once that's done, you want to go into flex mode. To go into flex mode, you just want to hit um, Command F. That brings that up. And then here you're going to see um, the mono option. And you want to change that to the poly one. That way when you change your BPM, you know, nothing sounds weird. There's other options. Um, I think uh, the t Temple phone works, uh, but it's it's not as good as the Poly. So um, I'm a rock with the Poly today. Um, so we did that. Now let's change the tempo to 140. And then you'll hear the difference in the tempo. Now I changed it, you know, halfway through to 135. You can kind of hear that shift in there. Um, it, it even popped a little bit because I was doing too much. But um, yeah, so you you heard the the tempo at 140. You heard it at 130, and um, I didn't have to change anything. I could keep everything how it was. If I had a, a full structured, fully structured track, 
you know, I wouldn't have to go in and, and like edit those drums again. I could just speed it up. If you notice, the hi hats kind of changed a little bit when they got um, when they when they really got going, like when they were really fast. Um, so that that's what I was talking about. Sometimes if you go up a lot, um, some things may change a little bit, but for the most part, you know, everything stayed in the same key. And it, it just changed the tempo. So that's a quick way to do that if you, you know, if you want to save some time um, and, and speed the tempo up on your tracks that, that have audio tracks in them. So, yeah. If you thought the video was helpful, definitely like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.